Just 24 hours after network president Jeff Zucker's resignation, all eyes seem to be zeroing in on now ousted CNN anchor Chris Cuomo. An internal meeting that went on was incredibly tense. There was a lot of anger in the room. The two consenting adults, what's the problem there? We're getting to a Game of Thrones level of infighting at this point at CNN. According to Fox News contributor Joe Concha, that internal meeting was attended by CNN's top anchors questioning Cuomo's role in Zucker's resignation. Dana Bash says that the punishment didn't meet the crime. Jake Tapper is now comparing Chris Cuomo to a terrorist. Here's Tapper, quote, he threatened Jeff Zucker. Jeff Zucker said, we don't negotiate with terrorists. And Chris Cuomo blew the place up. It's been widely speculated Cuomo's legal team raised the issue of Jeff and Allison Gallus' undisclosed romance after they fired him last December. Chris Cuomo's role here is a pivotal one. His lawyers, according to insiders, are now saying that the relationship between Zucker and Gullis was improper and they should not have been able to decide what happened to Chris Cuomo's career. Cuomo's team is not commenting, but a source familiar with the situation tells ET he is not responsible for Jeff's resignation. Hashtag hot mess. The other big question, when did Jeff and Allison's romance start? Allison claims it began during COVID. Former CNN anchor Soledad O'Brien calls that quote amusing, tweeting, it was an open secret and I haven't even worked there for like eight years. They're saying the relationship started during COVID. Well, is, is that accurate? If it started before then, which is what the allegations are by many, many people in the industry, that her promotions may have been directly related to their affair. She started out as a, as a publicist, and now she's the executive vice president at CNN. In her memoir, Going There, former colleague Katie Couric said she felt uncomfortable by their close relationship nearly 10 years ago while launching her ABC talk show. Jeff made a huge push to bring on Allison Gallist. They were joined at the hip and it made me really uncomfortable. On November 29th, Jeff was named president of CNN. His first hire, Allison Gallus. Today, Katie released a new statement saying, quote, I've wondered about the nature of their relationship. It seems their colleagues and the media at large turned a blind eye to inappropriate behavior.